All right, today is the day, and we are going to laminate some honeycomb core into the little extensions that come off the back of the tub. You can use the proper method, as maybe you've seen before, right here. Yeah, that was not the proper method. Didn't a pinch, but today we're going to use the proper method of using a vacuum bag to hold the honeycomb cores in place while they cure. Anyway, let's go take a look and see how we did it. I previously have cut this piece of Nomex honeycomb core out to shape to fit the panels we need. Ground the edges down, but they're a little bit ragged after that, so we're going to trim those up. And with that uh, honeycomb core, that creates a pattern for us to step over to the bench and cut out some fiberglass cloth. I'm going to cut out three layers of this 9-ounce esclath cloth. And each piece of cloth, as I mentioned before, is kind of cut consecutively slightly larger. It doesn't have to be much, but we want in the lamination for those edges to never line up. You get a couple of edges lined up and it creates kind of a ridge. So we're cutting three layers. The first layer is going to be bonded to the existing panel of the tub. The other two layers will cover our Nomex core. I said each one a little bit larger than the other. Just doesn't have to be exact, just roughly cut that way. Now that I got these two panels and the cloth cut ready for them to go, it's time to cut out the vacuum bag itself. And I just have a pretty good gauge of what's gonna take to uh, cover the part and reach to the vacuum bagging tape that you're about to see us install onto the existing panel. Now each one of these bags is going to need that vacuum fitting that we've created in a previous video. You can take a hole punch and uh, put a nice clean hole through our vacuum bagging materials because that fitting needs to make sure that it can seal tight so any jagged edges might crumple up and uh, have vacuum leak. When we punch our fitting through, screw the nut down and pinch that bag between it, make a nice tight air tight seal. You also see a little piece of plastic I put under there that will keep the vacuum fitting from bonding to the epoxy itself. So I've just taped in place the Nomex just to give me an idea of where it's going to sit in the finished thing. And I'm going to put the vacuum bagging tape about two inches around away from that Nomex core. Now this vacuum tape is really kind of a putty. And if you've never done this uh, vacuum bagging, Maybe you've put a camper shell on a pickup truck. It's the same kind of tape, real similar, just kind of a sticky bonding putty in the form of a tape, little ad non-adhesive strip that keeps it from sticking to itself. And once we've got that run all the way around the edge, just kind of push it into place, make sure it's sealed against the existing panel. And we're going to brush some resin on. Like I said, the first layer is going to be fiberglass bonded to the existing panel and that's going to kind of make a cushion layer cushion being that we could have bonded the nomex right to the hard existing panel but the cushion allows a little more molecular or i should say capillary action between the two parts the resin as it's pushing into the fiberglass cloth can climb up onto the nomex honeycomb edges so we're just going to put enough resin to uh, saturate that piece of cloth as it turns translucent. We know it's uh, saturated sufficiently. No more than that is needed. And so once we got this uh, piece of glass laminated in place, we're going to take a trip over to the workbench and uh, start working on the extra two layers that are going to cover the core. Again, I just use um, old trash bag pieces to uh, keep it from uh, sticking kind of the, the backside of a band-aid. Now these two layers, we want them to be a little bit leaner. We want to make sure that there's no extra resin. If there was, it would be drawn out by the vacuum and go into the vacuum hoses. No need to ruin our hoses. And we want to keep the fiberglass resin to ratio just right so that we don't add any extra weight to the car that we don't need to. As 
with it. Put some resin on there once we've got it pretty close to being saturated completely through. We'll take our squeegee and uh, go back and forth and uh, spread the resin evenly. Squeegee off any extra. And again, once it gets kind of translucent and we squeegeed it well, we know it's ready to go. And with this uh, trash bag behind it, we can pick the whole system up and move it without getting epoxy all over ourselves. Now, even now that honeycomb won't stick by itself, gravity's pulling it away. But that's what the whole system of this vacuum bagging is. That vacuum bag is going to act like a thousand little hands pushing it against that panel. Now we get to this point, the fiberglass layers, they're sticking to whatever they touch, except for the honeycomb core. Like I said, those little, as it's trying to stick to the thin edges of the honeycomb, just not enough to bond it to it. So we had to hold there in place just long enough for us to get the bag on there. Now, as I'm doing both sides of the car, I've got the system set up with a T in it. The other line going to the other side, just got a clamp on it right now so that we can uh, create a vacuum for this side as we're working. Start by uh, trying to keep that bag as flat as possible, working it out towards the edge, take any pleats out, stick it to the tape. Gets close to uh, going, we're going to plug our vacuum line on there. And now as we go around and push the bag onto the tape, as soon as we get a complete seal and there's no more leaks, you'll hear the tone of the pump change. Of course, I've turned that pump down so it doesn't make this narration covered by a ruckus noise. And then once it's sealed, it'll suck it on and do its job. And here's the other side, all vacuum bagged nicely into place. You can see it's a few little pleats around the fitting, but otherwise it is nice and clean, waiting for it to cure. And now, eight hours later, it's just a matter of coming back and uh, tearing that bag off. Of course, these uh, bags and tape are not cheap, but they are cheap enough that it's all disposable. And just tear it off and uh, throw it away. Comes off. Take off that little peel ply piece that kept the fitting from bonding. And it's nice and rigid, ready to go. We have Nomex Honeycomb cores bonded in place right where we need them in those little panels stiffening them up all in preparation for us turning that tub right over and putting it into the mold because we have some serious work to do in lots of fiberglass to stiffen this monocoque tub up now i've been promising you that for quite a while but we do have lots of things going on in our life if you ever want to know what those things are going on in my life you can follow me on instagram that is builder creator 5673 all scrunched together kind of in one word I don't know why the numbers are on there. Something Instagram did to my name, but that's it. Build a creator, 5673. You can follow there and see all the little odds and ends things that go on outside the shop and beyond the car. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Come back, see us again.